Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today I'll be reviewing the Amazon original series, The Tick, so stay tuned. Three seasons of The Tick appeared in animated form on Fox Kids from 94 to 96. The character was created in 1986 by Ben Edlund for New England Comics. This series is very similar to the animated series of the 90s. The Tick is a walking, talking riddle who has no clue as to who he really is or where he came from. He actually can't remember a thing from before the series began. The series follows The Tick and Arthur. In this series, superheroes have been real for decades. Arthur is an accountant who comes to realize his city is owned by supervillains. As he struggles to uncover the conspiracy, he falls in league with the strange blue superhero, the Tick. The Terror, the main supervillain of the series, has been presumed dead for years, since an incident which killed Arthur's dad. Since then, Arthur has suffered from PTSD, which causes him a tremendous amount of trouble in his life with an overprotective sister who's constantly checking up on him. The Tick takes a high-tech moth suit from the villain Ramses IV. Ramses sends Miss Lynn, a supervillain with electrical powers, after the two, but she discovers the Terror may have returned. The Terror is played by Jackie Earl Haley, who also played Rorschach in the Watchmen movie and Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street reboot. The Tick continuously tries to get Arthur to accept his destiny as a superhero. The Tick and Arthur are joined by a homeless man called Tinfoil Kevin, who says he's homeless, but not officeless. Which, apparently, for some reason, the homeless man has an office space. I don't know. If he looks familiar to you guys, that's because he played Kevin's older brother, Buzz. If he looks familiar to you guys, that's because he played Kevin's older brother, Buzz, in the first two Home Alone movies. Other than having to deal with the Terror's apparent return and Miss Lint, the two heroes also have to deal with a vigilante known as Overkill, who's a masked man that resembles a robot ninja, as is the running joke in the series. Overkill becomes at odds with Arthur and the Tick due to his willingness to kill and his desire to obtain Arthur's tech suit in order to track down the Terror. Overkill kind of seems like a cross between the Punisher from Marvel Comics and... Patrick Warburton. Uh, Warburton actually portrayed the Tick in the 2001 live-action sitcom, which was more like a superhero version of Seinfeld. Honestly, the series is pretty good. I wasn't really a fan during the animated run in the 90s, but I had seen a few episodes, and this new series is pretty much a live-action version of that with foul language and murder. I will say that even though I wasn't a fan of the animated series, I will say that even though I wasn't a fan of the animated series, or the sitcom, this series does capture my interest, and I think I'll be catching the rest of the series. If you guys have a chance, I do suggest checking this series out on Amazon Prime. The first six episodes are available now, with six more to be announced, and each episode is about 30 minutes long. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.